This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice traveled to communities across the state, handing out millions of dollars in federal community development block grants. As people come in and visit us, there was a project not long ago, you know, where we just repaired some sidewalks in some areas. And, and when people come in and they visit this great state, you know, I mean, they got to have water. I mean, for crying out loud, if we, you know, we want people to come here and live and visit and, and prosper within West Virginia. We want to begin to grow our population in West Virginia. The West Virginia Department of Transportation took part in National Work Zone Safety Awareness Week, spreading a message to drivers to slow down when traveling through work zones. We want to caution everybody out there that we have tons of highway work going on all summer long this year. We've uh, gotten back to our roots. We're working on our maintenance organizations are out there along with our contracting partners. The West Virginia Department of Commerce participated in a manufacturing summit in Morgantown. We wanted to do something that would focus on manufacturing in the state. There's lots of other conferences manufacturing is involved in, but nothing directly that brings together the manufacturers and the resources available to those manufacturers. The Herbert Henderson Office of Minority Affairs made its second stop on their 2019 listening tour in Dunbar. The West Virginia Division of Forestry took part in the annual West Virginia Police Canine Association Conference, giving their bloodhounds the chance to train in the Sissonville area. Commerce Secretary Ed Gonch spoke at a Future Business Leaders of America event in Charleston, and the Governor and First Lady participated in Let's Read WV Day by reading to students in schools. You can find more information on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.